Hi, Aki here from Evolved Computers. Today we follow up with the EVGA Z20 and the X17 mouse and keyboard uh, review that we did uh, over a month ago. Uh, we just did like an introduction because we never used them. Now I have been using them over a month now and uh, I can give you my opinions, how I like the mouse, how I like the keyboard, um, what's my settings and everything else. So if you want to watch this, uh, stay tuned. So let's start with the mouse first. Let's put the keyboard for aside for a second. So the mouse is uh, great. Uh, I used the Logitech uh, 510, I think, um, before uh, with uh, weights and everything. This one has weights also, but I haven't even put them in because I like the feel of the mouse without the weights. I haven't tried it with the weights yet, to be honest, but uh, comparing to my old one and this one, um, this one feels better without the weights. So, but it also, what it has still is the RGBs and everything else, you know, like if, if you want to use them. Um, also, I finally figured out what the sniper button does for it. Um, sniper button is for if you play uh, FPS or something, you can program the button to lower your DPS or make it higher either way, which, whichever way you want to go with it. But it's more of a sniping, so you're going to want to go lower. When you press it, it goes on the low... Uh, sorry, uh, it goes on the low FPS because... Uh, you are more accurate then. Uh, so, uh, so that's the button. I don't use it. I uh, eliminated it. I'm using it for something else. Uh, so you'll see the settings in a, in a little bit what I have done on my settings and, uh, and that's it. So overall mouse, great mouse. I love it. You know, like it's really simple to use. It's really accurate. Uh, um, also, what I did with the mouse is, uh, like I explained also on the last video, check that video out in the uh, video out before if you want to see how they look and everything. And uh, what I discussed in there was that, um, uh, who did the video? So, somebody made a video about it, about DPIs, refresh rates and everything else for the mouses. And I followed it and it feels way better. So like I said, you know, like we're gonna give a little bit and then I'm gonna show you the settings what I'm running for the mouse and uh, for the keyboard. So, um, but overall mouse, I really love it. It really works well with my hand, which is big hands and you know, like uh, big, big, big fingers. So I really like it. So coming to the keyboard, it, I have mixed feelings about this. Um, it's a great keyboard, don't get me wrong, it's a, it's a freaking great, but I wish sometimes that I would get the linear system, not the clicky. I got the clicky and the clicky is loud, like it's really, really loud clicks, uh, at least in my opinion. Um, but uh, overall the keyboard is awesome, you know, like the heightened, you know, like uh, WSAD and uh, extra buttons and, you know, like all the system, the letter uh, palm holder and everything else. Plus, of course, you know, like the keystroke is so short when it starts to move, which is, which is really, really great. So it's really responsive. Uh, but yeah, the only only thing that I'm, you know, like uh, thinking that I don't like is the clicky. So I should have gone with the linear one. Uh, but if you like the clickiness, this is the keyboard for you to get. Um, so, but overall, like this keyboard is great. Like I love it. All the functions I haven't used, like probably most of the functions still, like the time of flight and everything else. I haven't figured out the time of flight, to be honest. There is a way that when you come too close to the keyboard, that it opens the uh, computer and everything else. I haven't still figured out, or the software doesn't let it yet, you know, like to completely unlock the computer or anything. But it, yeah, but it does, you know, like it wakes up the keyboard and everything, which is a nice, nice, uh, nice way to show it. I'll try to get you guys close on my computer and just show you the keyboard and the mouse when I'm using it. But uh, 
but it's like it's really clicky <laughs> but I will still keep using it uh, so I, I really like it I really like the gaming function so if you press the gaming button here it uh, eliminates all the windows not buttons uh, sticky keys all of those you know like so and of course macros I love macros on the computer uh, keyboards you know like I put different um, different things on there uh, so like there's all, all kinds of ways. So uh, what we do now, I'm gonna try you get you guys on the show my keyboard uh, and when I'm using it and I'm gonna switch it off to the uh, to the computer and then uh, we'll see what we can do you know like uh, how I can show you guys how clicky it is, how the settings are and everything else so bear with me a little bit. Here you can see the setup um, so it's uh, Mouse is here, uh, keyboard on a Corsair uh, uh, mouse pad. So, like I already explained last time, this is just removable. So it's magnetically holding here. It's like clips in, and that's it. You have your volume buttons, play buttons. Uh, corner here, you have the game uh, game mode button that you can switch on. So your uh, Windows key and nothing works. So, which is a great option. Uh, all the micro keys and WASD are, you know, like having those uh, little ridges that you uh, can adjust it a little bit better. Um, let me see. So, so from the options uh, on the mouse, you know, like I have it set that it goes sleep after five minutes, uh, and uh, I put my report rate to eight thousand hertz. Uh, if you watch that video for the mouses and how the data transfer and everything works from the mouses, then you understand why I did that. So I have running report rate 8000 and DPI I'm running 1600, which is crazy, I know, uh, because most, uh, most people run it on like uh, around 400 to 800 range, but I'm running it on 1600. And sadly, I cannot take the sniper off from here, but the sniper is on 400, but I have the button disabled. So even if I click it, you know, like it doesn't change it uh, to sniper mode, but it's 1600. And what I'm doing uh, to compensate that I am taking mouse, um, uh, mouse speed off from the inside the game. So because I'm doing it in the game, uh, then this value with, uh, with also with the report rate works perfect, you know, like, and uh, data transfer is quicker, so I feel way more accurate in the game. So if you want to try it out, yes, it has a learning curve a little bit, because if every time you change your settings, you know, like, it's like, uh, probably feels weird, but yeah, but 1600 and 8000 hertz makes the most sense for me. Um, so in here you can uh, calibrate, you know, like uh, uh, which, uh, you know, like which surface is your mouse in. And then also, you know, like uh, which games you play more, you know, like either FPS or, you know, like it's office mode, universal. I'm using FPS gaming mode and Corsair Matte because that's, that's what I do mostly. Um, lighting effect, you can change everything, every lighting. Uh, so I have custom with profile, breeding, everything is breeding. So it, they're all like uh, changing the color. Uh, so my computer is green, but these are uh, switching between green and blue. Uh, keys I have changed. So for me, the sniper button right here is put on Q. Q in the um, Q in I, because it's Q because in Warzone that's where all my uh, uh, tacticals are. So it's quicker. Just press here, and that's it. And then the uh, rest of them are all the same, like always. You can add also, you know, like buttons for these uh, top ones here, but I haven't done it because they are more for uh, changing uh, DPIs and everything, which I don't, I don't need. Macros, I don't run any macros on my mouse. So that's it for the, for the mouse-wise. So, you know, like you can also in the setup put here that the program starts with uh, OS, you know, like and minimize and... Uh, updates oh damn i should put that on and see and there is a new i'm not gonna download right now i'm gonna do it after the video so but now let's get to the keyboard and uh, uh let me apply this okay and let's get to the keyboard so keyboard is this 
And now let me demonstrate you random clickiness and I hope the microphone picks it up so, so you can hear. So when you are, let's say, typing or quickly playing, then it does this. I hope it picked it up. So let's see, you know, like in the video when I'm editing this, but uh, I hope it picked it up. Uh, in here, also you, what you can change is report rate. That's 4000 max, it's 4K. Um, so you can configure your Windows keys, either Windows keys on the left or right, you know, like so you don't mess it up. But uh, like I said, game mode disables, you know, like, and then you can say, you know, like, uh, what keys it disables. So I have mine disabling win keys, so, but you can also add every other other ones also. So you, so you cannot press like, let's say, uh, Alt Tab or Alt F4 or like Shifts or something, you know, like so. These are, these are all, you know, like uh, locked when the game mode is on. So you just press this corner here, the white light, little, little white light goes on and that, that lets you know that the game mode is on and then all of these are gonna disable, so you cannot press them. You know, like uh, character repeat, uh, repeat the light time, they, these are all for, you know, like uh, how fast, you know, like the blinker and everything else works. So here you have uh, the time of flight function. Like I said already before, I have not figured out this to wake up or unlock or anything because unlock should unlock the computer, but there's nowhere to put the passwords or anything, so I'm not so sure how it, you know, like what it unlocks or what it wakes up, you know, like because it doesn't do these things in, in, even if I'm trying to uh, change them. Maybe the, now, now, I, now I know that there's an update, maybe I should, you know, like m maybe after update it starts working. And then leaning, leaning works. After 10 seconds it goes dark, you know, like the keyboard goes dark, and the, which is nice. And this is the distance from keyboard where it starts working. So you can put it like really close or like really far. That's 1.2 meters, which is a lot of, uh, lot of space. You know, like, so if, so if you have like smaller space and everything, I wouldn't put it so far, but, uh, uh, but leave it, you know, like for a closer. And also what you can do is like, you can make so many different profiles in here, you know, like, so whichever you like, you can do it. So again, lighting effects, you can change everything, breathing, you know, like pulsating, uh, time of light, fade in, fade out. So, so there's tons of options to customize your keyboard and then you can do layers of layers of layers so you can do your own lighting effect basically. Key assignment, I don't use, uh, but you can, you know, like uh, do certain things with certain keys that it opens either websites or whatever, you know, like, so that's, uh, uh, that's, that's with a function key. And then macros. So I have a couple of macros that I use mostly. I'm not going to show them what they are, but uh, I'm using a couple of macros for my keys right here. And then, um, then that's basically it. You know, like so. Now let's let I'm going to do the update. But for you guys, you know, like uh, uh, what what is my decision? My decision is this is an awesome buy. You know, like the keyboard is uh, has like a metallic cover it's really cool uh, it keeps the keys cold it has a USB on the back here so you can uh, plug in your either charger or whatever you want to do with USB uh, USB sticks and everything it has double double uh, height uh, pads on the back uh, everything is really nicely done like keyboard is awesome I am I don't have anything bad to say that only thing what I wish that I would bought of you know like is uh, linear keys because they are really 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 clicky. This helps you guys a little bit to make more decisions. So for the mouse uh, Like like I said mouse is great like I absolutely no No issues at all with the mouse after I changed all the Hertz and the DPI Ooh, It works like a charm and and I really really love it. So 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 thanks for thanks for that. So that was my follow up that I was uh, that I was promising for you guys to do. Uh, now you know if you want to make the decision. I am totally supporting this uh, purchase, uh, comparing to the, my Logitech stuff that I had. Both of them are great. Uh, I don't know which one I would uh, prefer it over another, but I still think you know like these are really great buys for the money that they are uh, what what they are asking. So. Uh, I would go with that. 
definitely suggesting to buy these. Um, they are great, especially when they are on sale. Like I got them for, you know, like, and they were on sale and it was, it was a great buy. But I still, again, I would go with the linear. Uh, the clickiness is sometimes a little bit too much. Uh, you don't listen that much when you have headphones on. But when I'm just typing, you know, like emails and uh, like uh, answering your guys, uh, you know, like comments and everything else, like it sometimes annoys, annoys really, you know, like when you need to like write a really long letter and like it's like click, click, like it's like a typewriter, you know, like think. Thanks for watching. This is it for today. Uh, also, thank you for uh, uh, for the Fantex raffle that's ended now. Uh, we got our winner. Uh, winner is Thomas. Uh, let me see where is where where he was from. It's Thomas from uh, New Jersey. Thanks for everybody for watching this video and also to uh, supporting us through the raffle and stuff. So if you wanna keep getting those raffles and everything, uh, sign up for our social media everywhere, and then uh, then you can win different things in the in the in, in the in the future so thank you for everything and uh, see you guys on the next time